Jeff, they kept on giving, but it was a malfunction. That didn't stop this man at a self-checkout register in Walmart from taking all the extra cash that he and his friends could stuff in their pockets. Now, in less than 30 minutes, we're talking here, eight people in that Winter Haven store walked off with nearly $1,100. Now, Winter Haven police are looking for those people. Jen Holloway is following the story and showed the video to some Winter Haven residents to get their reaction. It's pretty startling that nobody spoke up and said, hey, we're getting too much here. <laughs> right? You know, it's one thing to see adults who get involved in crime or commit a crime, but in this case, this recent case, this video clearly shows children getting involved. And as you can imagine, this checkout cash grab has lots of adults shaking their heads tonight. It all started with a simple purchase. This man with a right shoulder tattoo bought and paid for his items. But when he realized the machine gave him a 20 instead of a 5, he walks out of view and apparently alerts his friend who walks up and does the exact same thing. Immediately you see them starting to come in one by one grabbing one item, whether it's a, a, a cold drink or a candy bar, a pack of gum. Police believe as many as eight accomplices were involved. And they put in enough money in order to force the machine to give them a $5 change out. However, that $5 change ended up being $20. But seeing the kids in action makes parents like Veronica Hodges cringe. That's terrible. I mean, to get young children involved in that. You can't do that. Solomar Ortiz says they're setting a very bad example for the kids involved. If it happened to me, um, I worked retail and sales, I would give it back. At one point, this Walmart associate changing the liner of a garbage can gave them assistance, but apparently did not notice the malfunction. Then after about 20 minutes or so, all eight involved casually walked out of the store. Now, as for charges in this case, besides theft, those adults are also possibly facing charges of contributing to the delinquency of a minor. Now, Winter Haven police want to hear from anybody who might identify them. And there's obviously some really good surveillance video and some still images from that video, so someone is going to know who they'll come forward. Are. You wait and see. Well, maybe they're embarrassed about it tonight, and they'll turn themselves in and go, "We didn't know we did anything wrong. <laughs> we just thought we were getting a, you know, a nice little a freebie, a free gift." Wow, well, it wasn't free. All right. Thank you. Jen. Thank you, uh, Kentucky.